Welcome to Super Single Slide Sessions, where we have a look at aspects of software testing and pack it into a single slide. When we test, we are prone to all sorts of biases and preconceived ideas, which could potentially lessen the value of our actions. Here are an example and a story that comes along with it. Sometimes the allegedly simple and the one-dimensional has more to it than you think. Oh, you might ask yourself, why does he suddenly use Comic Sans as a slide font? Well, for a long time I thought Comic Sans to be a ridiculous font, and I certainly up to this day believe that it should be used sparingly. I have, however, made peace with it. Making peace with things often is a good idea. On the other hand, I don't have a peace agreement with Arial, which simply is a horrible, horrible font that should never be used. If you want to know more, then fire up your search engine and investigate. Back to Comic Sans. One would think it is a simple, light-hearted font and that that's that. There's nothing more to it. Uh, it is yet beneficial in a different context. Comic Sans helps dyslexic people to read better. So this font makes lives of some part of the population easier. I find this wonderful. But that's not all. You certainly notice that there are two logos below the text, one of Ministry of Sound and one of Ministry of Testing. What's the connection, you ask? Well, the designer of Comic Sans, Winton Connard, is also the designer of the Ministry of Sound logo. And as you can easily see, Ministry of Testing was undoubtedly inspired by its form factor. So I'm sure you have not made this connection yet, but there is a pretty direct link between Comic Sans, the font, and Ministry of Testing, the organization. I find things like these wonderful. Next time you encounter something bland, try to dig a bit deeper. Maybe some exciting connections surface from it. Thank you for your attention. Stay healthy and have a successful day.